All right, so this is our new rocket mass heater, and I'm going to try in this little short video to answer a couple of questions that I anticipate people might have about this. Um, is it safe? I believe it is. It's got a tiny little firebox here, and when it when this is built over and surrounded by cob, there will be almost like a funnel shape leading down into that firebox, which will have a cap which will enable us to just put in a load of wood, cap it off, open up the little vent over here, which will allow air into the system, and then it will burn essentially without risk of sparks and things coming up. As you can see right there, I pulled that away, and now I'm getting smoke coming out of the box. But once I cap it off, once I close that off, the um, smoke now is all sucked into the burn tunnel where it's, it's all burned. I've checked on this a couple of times during the course of this burn and uh, there's no visible smoke coming out of our chimney so I'm pretty confident that the rocket stove is burning all of the all of the volatile combustible stuff in the fumes and putting out nothing but but hot air. This has been burning over two hours now. We've used up um, what el whatever else was in this five gallon bucket. I had this fully packed with wood and I've, you can see I've used more than probably more than the half of it but it's been burning for over two hours. It's throwing a tremendous amount of heat out into this space. The It's above 80 degrees in here. I'm about to take off my sweater. Um, so it's th throwing out a lot of heat so I think it's pretty efficient. Uh, one of the things that's turned me in the direction of doing this was learning that burning wood is essentially a carbon neutral activity as opposed to fossil fuels which have been bound into the earth for millions of years. Trees grow, take in carbon dioxide and even if they just, even if branches and things just fall in the woods and decompose they're going to yield that carbon dioxide back out into the atmosphere. So burning it really is in essence no worse than just letting wood sit and rot. Uh, the great thing about these rocket stoves, I'm burning split wood because it's what's most available to me at the moment. But in fact, you can you can burn windfall sticks at tremendous heat when you burn little bits of wood. They just burn so fast um, that it, that it generates a tremendous amount of heat very quickly. So I th I think a person could in fact heat their home with with windfall if you had a, a wood lot large enough where you could just pick up sticks regularly. Okay, so the construction method is um, basically stacking fire bricks. I used thin wall wherever possible to keep the mass of the uh, the heater core as as low as possible. Um, I should have it insulated. I do not. I'm not there yet. I wanted to see how it runs without insulation, and it runs. It seems to run just great without insulation. Nonetheless, I will be cobbing it in, as I said before, in order to create the kind of structure I want to make it very safe. So, thin wall fire brick joined together with, oh, too, way too hot to touch, joined together with furnace cement. It's got a, um, the gap between this edge of the feed tube and the interior, the first point where it hits the heat riser. So the top of the burn tunnel is six and a half inches, goes up into the heat riser, the heat riser is made out of kaolin, which is a high-performance ceramic fiber, very, very insulating from what I read, and very durable. I formed the heat riser by cutting a length of 24-inch by 1-inch thick kaolin and forming it into a tube. Before forming it into a tube, I painted one, the inner surface with uh, rigidizer, which is a colloidal suspension of silica that, when it dries, becomes becomes rigid and so it's it's going to hold that tube shape that I created. So what I did is I painted the rigidizer on the inside, formed it into a tube, bailed it with some coat hangers, and I believe that when the coat hangers finally disintegrate that uh, tube will maintain its shape because of the rigidizer. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll, I guess something will happen that will tell me things aren't working and I'll, I'll take this can off and see what I can do with it but that's my my hope that that's the way it's going to work out so this that's the the essence of this whole burn burn system is just fire bricks um, furnace cement 
the KOL riser and a can that I got from the local um, quick lube place just for the asking. And this can is about 27 and a half inches tall and it's about a 15 inch diameter. So the heat riser comes up, goes inside here. There is a gap of about three inches from the top of the heat riser to the top of the barrel. There's about a three inch gap on the side walls around the heat riser allowing this hot gas to kind of flow down the sides. It flows down into a chamber constructed of the fire brick and it abuts a cinder block. Now the thermal mass of this project I made really entirely out of cinder block and I've been really really happy with the way this has worked out. It just popped into my head one day to do this and it looked great on paper and when I put it together it looked great as well so I was really really pleased. The first level of cinder block you see here everything is built on, on top of a layer of track rock just so I could level it but the first level of cinder block is just to support what's above it so there's no particular order that other other than that's the way it fit well but the burn chamber the this first cinder block here is rotated this same type of cinder block rotated 90 degrees and so the those two channels are going this direction so I put one after another of these cinder blocks to create a tube a dual tube that runs this direction. I was able to cut the cinder blocks with a diamond saw into a miter so that I was able to create a right angle turn with those two channels. So this two tubes run this way then they do a, t a left turn they go down to here and keeping in mind that they're in the, the center line here, the center level, this is the base and this is the the one that's coming um, from the rocket stove, the first one. And it comes down here. It gets to these two cinder blocks, which have this one has its top removed, this one has its bottom removed. So that when I stack them, they create a kind of a big open chamber. So the hot gases go along this way. They can come naturally up here because they hit a wall out here. This is a piece of uh, two pieces of concrete paver that I glued onto the end with more of the uh, furnace cement so the, the hot gases come along they hit the wall they come up they return back this direction they make another right turn and then they make another right turn and they go straight against my chimney the chimney I removed one of the bricks there was a brick in exactly this position down down here one level and it was a perfect fit for the cinder block so I just pushed this, I coated the edge of the cinder block with more furnace cement and I also coated the around the opening where I'd torn the brick out with furnace cement and I smushed them together creating a nice tight uh, seal and it's bonded perfectly and it seems like there's no fumes coming out anything like that and so the gas path is again down here goes down there comes up comes back this way comes down this way and heads back out my chimney and at this point it's quite warm there quite warm so we, at this point we have actual hot gases going up the chimney so that's worked out very well if, if there's any criticism I have about the way this thing is working at this point it's that that thing is probably too hot to sit on for long so I could certainly increase the thermal mass. My plan at this point is to add two inches of coarse lime plaster over the entire surface here and again to cob in this end to make it a more um, more useful and safe at, at the burning end of this thing. But other than that I'm just very very happy with this. So it seems like it's safe, it's possibly legal, it seems environmentally responsible and it was well under two hundred dollars to construct with a fair bit of labor from my boys um, and so overall it just seems to be working out very very well I'm gonna quickly take a peek upstairs and see if there's any smoke coming out of the chimney so I'm just gonna carry the camera up the stairs and outside real quick and we'll just see if uh, as clean burning as I think it is. Right. 
Okay, that's my chimney. It's as close as this camera can get. But I'm not able to see any anything in the way of smoke coming out of there. So I'm saying that's a clean burn.